Hi, my name is Alchemist 2, and I'm back again with another movie review. Recently, I decided to watch the movie Wieners. <laughs> it's got uh, Keenan from Keenan and Cal, um, Zach Levi, and some other actor that I don't really know. But take the <clears throat> the idea from Without a Paddle and mix that in with Wild Hogs. And this is kind of what you get. Basically, you've got a character who was vilified, mocked, and <coughs> made an absolute fool of on national TV by Dr. Duane, who is a direct Dr. Phil ripoff, and it's hysterical. Um, <coughs> Rotten Tomatoes didn't give Wieners a very good review. They just said it was a terrible film. Now, I don't really think that it was a terrible movie at all. I personally think it was very funny. And uh, it may not be the best comedy movie out there, but it it's pretty good. I mean, it has its moments that are really laugh-out-loud funny. And Kanan, I think, really makes a lot of the scenes uh, worthwhile because he... He does a lot of this overacting, which is hysterical, and he can do his he can do <clears throat> he can do that extremely well, and he knows how to really milk a scene for what it's worth. Um, the main character in the very beginning, you find that he's just he's totally depressed. He doesn't really have that much reason for living. His girlfriend left him because all he does is work at the bowling alley and he keeps track of people's shoes. Well, she thinks that he's a total liar. And you can see from flashbacks that he had he had trouble when he was a, a youngster as well. He was bullied and all that. Um, <clears throat> you've got Wyatt, another character played by by Kanan, uh, who wanted to be a Wienermobile driver but was rejected 12 times to do so. So with every last cent of his money, he invests in purchasing his own Wienermobile. And it comes with a uh, little flying wiener um, <laughs> emblem. Yeah, that actually has uh, some comedic purpose later on in the film, and it's really enjoyable. Um, <clears throat> basically, he and and Ben, who is played by Zach Levi, and this uh, young man who is made to look like a complete moron on television, they go on a cross-country trip uh, to Los Angeles, California, to find uh, Dr. Duane and have it out with him and, you know, give him what for, for you know, for what he did so many years ago. And the the field trip itself is just hilarious. Uh, they <laughs> they go to West Virginia and they meet a waitress who was um, dumped on prom night right after Dr. Duane um, basically knocked boots with her. And, that, oh man, that guy's just such a jerk. You want to hate him, but <clears throat> Later on, they they head to um, an amusement park, and they knock a girl out of her bumper car, <laughs> and they run away like heck. Um, there are just a lot of things that happen in this that are hysterical. Well, before that, they, they stop in this rural community where there is absolutely nobody. It's just basically a ghost town, and... Uh, this is actually one of my favorite scenes, other than when they, they meet their teacher later on, who is a complete wreck. But let me go to this scene in particular, because it is funny, funny, funny. Um, Keaton's out on the sidewalk watching for people or whatever, signs of life he can find. And Ben and the other character get really bored and they say, oh, I can't stand it anymore. We just, we got to take a break from all this lack of anything this cornucopia of nothingness. <laughs> I was going to use that phrase from um, Titan AE just because I wanted to and it's funny. But um, 
they they walk away and they leave uh, Wyatt there <laughs> on his own with the free hot dogs. He keeps saying free hot dogs, and then there's a, a cowboy who comes out with you know hat and everything, Tennessee and accent and every and all that, and he says, "Is this some kind of gimmick? Is this real?" Yeah, it's a free hot dog. Well, allow me to take a taste, and you can see um, his, <coughs> his cowboy's jeans are pretty darn tight, and you can see some action going on there. He's a little bit aroused, and of course, uh, Wyatt sees this, and he, he waves it off. He doesn't really think that much about it. He says, give me a taste, and he, t he takes the hot dog, and he, he sticks it in his mouth, um, and it looks like he's... Uh, giving him fellatio, <laughs> um, and he says, allow me to take you away from all this, and he takes his right finger and sticks it in his mouth, and he sucks on it, and Wyatt's just standing there crying, and he, f he finally takes the wienermobile, and he finds where the other guys are, and he says, get in the van, and they just look at him, don't ask questions, get in the van now, so they basically jump in the van, and they drive away, and Wyatt's driving like like that. <laughs> and they said, "What happened to you?" He said, "Well, one minute he's eating the hot dog, the next minute he's sucking on my finger. I don't want to talk about it." So they keep uh, they keep driving, and then that's when they come to the the amusement park, which is really funny. Um, they keep coming closer to the destination. They they meet their sixth grade teacher, who was really hot at that time. And she's a complete mess, and she's doing uh, what she calls Mexican blowjobs, <laughs> which is basically a, a tequila with whipped cream on top. And she downs them with her her mouth, and then she says, <coughs> "How many was that?" And then she has narcolepsy, so she'll be talking one minute, and then she'll fall asleep the next, and, and they just they just leave. But it's it's really a lot like Wild Hogs because of all the crazy things that happen. And it's it's actually quite a funny film, and you get to see Zach Levi dancing in his underoos. Woo, woo, yeah, that part I really liked. Oh man, it was hot. Oh, sexy, sexy, sexy. But, ooh, he's got moves. But that was awesome. I really enjoyed that. Um, I know that Rotten Tomatoes only gave it two and a half, but I'll, I have to give Wieners three stars just because. It's a funny film. It'll make you laugh. The bloopers are terrific. Zach Levi is is absolutely tremendous in his role. He's he's a lawyer studying for the bar exam, and they all <coughs> they all have happy endings. I'm not going to say how, but it's just one of those movies that um, the characters go through some self discovery, um, like a lot of road trip films do. And I've noticed this and similar films like, you know, The Hangover, Hangover 2, um, Without a Paddle, and Wild Hogs, uh, they're all similar because they all go through transformation and they they come closer to each other and they also have an epiphany about who they are and what their purpose really is. And actually there's a character that appears later on at Dr. Dwayne's show. It was an unexpected surprise for um, Wyatt. So that that's also sweet. And one of the things that I found very profound, and I don't really find this a lot in, in comedic films, but I think a lot of uh, critics are overlooking this, but when, um, before the hot bod contest, they have to make money because they had their wallet stolen. Uh, you know, there's an actual, re actually really interesting scene before, before that, and then they figure out their wallets are gone. But... Um, <laughs> Uh, ben, Zach's character, runs into a, a freak show guy by the name of Walrus Boy. Walrus Boy has a, a Russian accent and everything, and he tells him his story, and he says, well, um, back where I came from, people would make fun of me, and I would get uh, urinated on and all that. And he says, you know, you've got to take your past, and you can't let the stench of the past foul up your potentiality for the future or the present. I thought, that is deep, man. That is really profound. And I really like that because it really spoke to me. And sometimes I think we're really hung up with our past and all the characters are, are trapped in their own pasts in a way. And uh, the main character, he has to overcome his, his demons and 
uh, Seamus, the young boy who plays the accordion, accordion, not accordion, excuse me, the recorder, uh, and every scene just to give him some motivation. Um, he shows up again, and uh, he says, "You can't let the beach ya. You gotta." <laughs> You gotta keep going forward. I believe in you. And <coughs> that's when they decide, when, when the main character decides to keep going forward and meet out the the vengeance that Dr. Dwayne has coming to. Actually, there's a, a kind of a twist at the end. I'm not gonna say what it is, but all in all, I I enjoyed Wieners. I I really thought it was a a great film. Really funny. Uh, enjoyable, likable characters, kind of, kind of uh, predictable stuff, but it was still uh, the kind of movie that that you can watch, kind of turn your brain off and laugh at. And I like a kind of movie like that every so once in a while. So I give Winners one thumb up rather than two because of the predictability of it. But I like the panorama and the scenery and the different places that they travel. Um, uh, that was really pretty and it was just amazing and the crazy situations that they get involved in were just <laughs> hilarious and uh, let me allow me to state for the record once again Zachary Levi in boxer shorts that were made to look like a tuxedo heck yes ha 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 but I rest my case and uh, that's all that needs to be said about that. If you want to see Zach Levi dancing in his underoos, then by all means, then this is right up your alley. But, oh, <laughs> sexy! But anyway, I I really enjoyed that, and I needed that too because it was good therapy. Uh, it's just a good buddy film, and, and I like buddy films, and uh, it, it has that. You know the com the co the comedic uh, kind of repartee between the three friends. It's like it's right the Three Musketeers meets the Long Long Trailer in a way, because uh, it runs out of gas at some point. Yeah, that's the part that reminded me of the Long Long Trailer. But um, other than that, I I have to say that this this is a good film and I enjoyed it. And uh, if you're a fan of Zach Levi, by all means. You know, check it out because it's uh, probably something that you'll enjoy. If not, then eh, at least you gave it a shot. <laughs>